Now we're going to talk about checking the blade guide for serviceability. The reason it's important is because if you lose control of your blade from an unserviceable blade guide, you lose control of your whole application. You won't have the correct thicknesses, you won't have the correct laydown spots. All right, the way you check it is you use the blue handle tools that come with the machine, the blade guide tools. All right, they have part numbers on them if you need them. They're also in the manual. You use the slot scraper tool, which is used to clean the slot of the blade guide. And that's the only thing you should use. Anything wedged will cause the blade guide to crack. You have the slot width tool. The slot width tool checks to make sure the blade guide is within tolerance in the width direction, which is up and down. And then you have the slot depth tool. The slot depth tool has a notch out of it, which you can see, which checks to make sure that the blade does not go too far back inside the blade guide. To use them, you take the slot scraper tool, you slip it into the slot of the blade guide, and you slide it to clean the slot. The slot width tool in itself is used to measure the vertical distance on the slot. All right, This tool, when you try to put it in the slot of the blade guide, should not go. If it goes in and you can leave it and it stays by itself, the blade guide is too wide and therefore unserviceable. The slot depth tool you slide into the slot. The notch you should be able to see. When the notch is no longer visible from the top of the blade guide, it is too deep. All of these tools, especially the depth and the width tool, you want to use where you are slicing product on the blade guide. 